Hey bitches, it's me Levi and um, it's time for a little bit of a, a bit of an um, unboxing haul, whatever you want to call it, mini, mini haul. Um, <clears throat> I was in a city where one of my, um, so Willa, my boyfriend, one of his best friends lives there. And whenever, we don't go to that city that often, so sometimes I kind of Google uh, if there's like a cool metaphysical shop there. And there actually was one. And it did look kind of basic um, at first glance, judging from the photos online. But I was like, I still want to go anyways. And um, they actually had like a pretty wide range of decks. Um, they were a bit like overpriced, but that's what we get over here very often with these smaller brick and mortar stores. They're kind of like mom and pop stores and they can't really compete with Amazon. And also the Dutch wholesaler for Tarot X is kind of, has kind of been screwing the little shops over and it's basically the only way decks are accessible to them. So, you know, I am a bargain queen. Uh, I could have gotten all these decks for way cheaper, but it was such a cool store. I didn't take any pictures. I didn't film because we, we were kind of in a hurry, but I did pick up some decks and I don't know. I just wanted to kind of unbox them. One of them I already did because the uh, um, Willem's friend really wanted a reading. So I took the deck and I shuffled it and I gave her a reading. And it's the Goddess Tarot. It's a US Games deck. It's kind of a classic. Uh, and I didn't have it yet. I love it. I really liked um, working with it. Um, kind of... I'm kind of in love with the older US Games decks, with the older US Games cardstock. They're sort of reverting to a... They're sort of reverting to a glossy, weird new cardstock that I don't like. Um, there's something really fun about a good playing cardstock, which is something uh, like a smooth matte, smooth matte um, you know, finish that ha catches a little bit of shine, but that's really durable and that just works. Um, and I don't know, like their older cardstocks really glide well. So I don't know if you've got if you guys have ever seen this. Um, most of you probably have, but it's a really charming little deck. Looking at it now through the camera, I'm kind of like, "Wow, this is fucking amazing!" It has lots of borders, so it's 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 kind of an oldie. It's kind of old fashioned, uh, but all the majors have goddesses. I was kind of thinking that the minors would have two, because I had never really really seen this deck. Uh, but the minors don't. It's just the majors that have it. So uh, that was kind of a math moment. It's very Rider Waite Smith esque. Um, I love this moon card. Oh man. Um, I really, really like it. What this deck has made me realize though is that this is probably the final tarot deck that I'm going to buy for myself for the foreseeable future. Unless it's an indie creator who's a friend, then I might back a Kickstarter. Uh, but I really don't need any more decks. Um, the only masculine figures in this deck, I feel, are the kings and the princes. Which is fine. Because it's a goddess deck, after all. Would have even been cooler if there hadn't been any men in this at all. But I really love the art in this. Uh, so that's primarily the reason why I got it. But this this did make me realize, especially as I was reading with it, I was like, you know, these mass market US games, Rider Waite Smith clones um, that do look really good or that do sometimes have like a, a cute concept behind it. Like for example, with this one, the goddess uh, thing. I love this too. Um, you know, I don't need like 10 more of those, but I am really glad to add this to my collection because this is kind of a a really special deck. I, I thought I would have the same feeling with the uh, Zerner Farber Tarot 
or the Enchanted Tarot or whatever the hell it's called. I didn't. I didn't have it with that. I got it, looked through it, immediately rehomed it. I was like, nope, not for me. This one, though, is a little bit more handy. Uh, the cards are pretty big. They're not standard tarot size at all. Uh, but I like it. I like the way they look. I love the vin like a lot of people, a lot of modern. Hey, I kind of got a runny nose. Funny. A lot of modern reviewers will probably point out that it's annoying that we have a white border and then another border and another border and a vignette. Uh, you know, because everything needs to be borderless. Everything needs to be like, uh, you know, oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Everything needs to be completely, you know modern i actually really like the vignettes i really love it i love the way it looks uh, i love the vibrancy of the colors um there's just something special about it i knew about this deck because uh, a tarot tutor of mine i uh, had this uh and i was like oh cool but you know like there are already twenty thousand goddess decks out there so i don't even want to see it so i literally paid it no mind uh, and then Gail, Gail Stacker, uh, she used it on her Instagram. And I was like, Gail, what deck is that? It looks so vibrant. It looks so gorgeous. She was like, it's a new addition to my collection. It's the Goddess Tarot. So this is not expensive. Uh, it was not that expensive even at the store. I don't know if the price is still on there. No, it's not. Um, but it's stunning. And... Uh, I like that I have this. It's, it feels really it feels really special. There's something about the older US games decks. Almost like there's a little bit more integrity to them. I don't know why, but they just feel so special. So I'm really happy with this. And uh, yeah, super affordable, super cool, gorgeous illustrations. Uh, the other one doesn't have plastic on it. But the lady assured me that it was a new copy and she just, uh, let me take off the price tag, that she just took the plastic off to kind of um, have it on display, but no one had opened it yet because she'd just gotten it in. Um, the Archangel Michael sort of light oracle. I like this a lot and I know people are gonna like, Roll their fucking eyes. Look, the paper band is still on it even, so that's fun. Uh, let me take that off. I haven't even read the book yet, um, but I don't know what it is, but I just really love Ratley Valentine. I love his writing. Uh, this is a very text-heavy deck. Um, it's very cheesy. It's very campy. Uh, the illustrations are very pop kind of poppy, pop culture-y. I love this. Uh, pop culture, campy. Um, you know, Hay House is uh, making progress, definitely, but they are also very clearly releasing decks that are replacement decks for the void that uh, Doreen left within the Angel Deck realm when she reverted back to Christianity. Um, so we have Karen Kay who did a mermaid and a fairy deck and she's doing another one. So that's all Doreen's fairy decks covered. We have Radley who did two, uh, tarot decks and now the Archangel Michael Oracle. So I'm guessing there's going to be a Raphael and a Gabriel one as well. Uh, then we had Kyle Gray who kind of did the Ascended Masters and he was kind of doing it again. And then we have, what else do we have? Well, you know, they're, they're kind of filling their, oh yeah, uh, Diana Cooper with the unicorn deck and another angel deck. So they're kind of filling the void with different authors. Um, this is a very classic Oracle deck. So they're sort of pandering to the older new age crowd with this. Uh, where they're also trying to pander to a younger crowd, but I don't think a whole lot of younger people are going to pick this up. I feel like angels aren't really as much as a hot topic as they used to be. Um, but you know, with the poppy illustrations, <laughs> but it looks, it looks kind of camp. 
Uh, I like it though. I love camp. Uh, it's very text heavy. This is something that I would normally not buy, but something about it is so charming and I literally want to shuffle this like after we're done and then I literally want to uh, pull a card from it for myself and maybe for you. Uh, but these are interesting, cute messages. Uh, they're all very positive. They're all very new age. You will manifest what you need. Archangel Michael, the angelic realm, to you, your town, planet Earth, priority, handle with care. So let's shuffle these. Actually, <coughs> the box looks really good. So we have this inlay, this printing on the inside, which we don't see with a lot of Hay House decks. And we also have that on this inside of the box. Uh, the backs are cute-ish. Uh, overall, a really cute little campy set. This is not on their hyper cardboardy cardstock. This is on their glossy cardstock, which, you know, uh, oh, okay, yeah, there we go. Well, we already have a jumper, special moment. Let's shuffle again. Uh, I wish they would, honestly wish they would go back to this for all their decks because the cardboardy mat that they're using right now is not really great. Um, they also had that Blue Angel sort of, we're trying to rip off Blue Angel cardstock matte lamination. That I liked for the, um, they had the sh uh, Shaman, sh Shamanic Oracle by Colette Baron Reed. You know, the, the good one, not the Shaman, Shaman's Dream, Shaman's Dream. Uh, they had that Kyle Gray Angels and Ancestors one. They had that in that cardstock. That, that was a good cardstock for them too. Uh, I'd rather they just go back to the, to the old school glossy or that matte lamination cardstock that they had because and I have to say, this isn't the most flexible either. So it's not completely the same as it used to be, but because of the finish, it just glides a little bit better. Let's see which card we get. Ah, oh, be the real you. Your greatest power comes from being who you truly are. Don't let anyone sway you from expressing your authentic self. I love this. Wow, wow. It's a good lesson for all of us and for me as well. And I, I have been getting messages like this a lot because I have not been listening to my true authentic self and I should. So uh, yeah, this is th that was fun. I really like that I got that. And then I also got, and I still need to open this up, uh, this Sacred Symbols for Divination and Meditation. Uh, Martin showed me this. It's so cool. Uh, Marcella Kroll created this awesome deck. Used to be indie. Another one that I could have gotten for way cheaper. But thank God I am in the privileged position to support local stores. Uh, so, you know, if you are in the position to do that and not always go for the bargain, please do so. Uh, I know it's not the case for everyone. Uh, box is stunning. Wow. Uh, so I haven't opened this up at all. There's a really cute little book. And, you know, this is kind of a me, a talky video. Me kind of going, you know, oh, it looks like this was printed in or cut you know, on two sheets. So we'll have to see if that, that split kind of um, disappears when we shuffle it. So we get all these symbols, really simple, on this background. And I love it. I love this so much. This is so pretty, all of this. So these are all symbols from all over the world, all cultures. And uh, I think it's really, really stunning. I love this. I saw this card on someone's feed once and I was like, what deck is that? And that was back when it was still indie. This has really good card stock. A lot of people will probably say this is too thin. I actually really, really, really like this. So the core isn't the greatest. I can kind of, I don't know if you can tell, you can, yeah, you can definitely see. It's definitely, it definitely has a, a gray or blue core or no core at all, um, which kind of is a shame. However, um, 
Well, who cares? I love this. I love this deck and I love that it's mass market. I love that it's accessible. It's really good. It's really pretty. It's really simple. Uh, I love this. Wow. Really cool. Uh, this is just something that I really, really like. Really like this. This is, you know, you guys know that line work is my jam. Well, it doesn't really get more minimal than this, but I like it a lot. Huh? Haha. -ha. Very important symbol to me. Gratitude. Oh. There's some really good keywords. It's very usable to, it's not like, this could very easily have said dryad and then no keyword and you having to refer to the guidebook, but it says nature spirits, which is something you could weave your story with. Ah! This is so funny. I'm seeing lots of symbols that I ah that I used in my deck as well. And I have never ever seen a flip through of this. This was a complete blind buy because Martin said it was good. Um so that's funny. Marcella and I must be on the same wavelength. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, I really, really like this. This looks cool, modern, dope. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get this split kind of away so it's thin it's thin cardstock but it has a really good why is this table so annoying with the shuffles uh, it's thin cardstock but it has a really good lamination i think it's uv scratch matte anti-scratch matte lamination which you don't see a lot in mass market publishing so i do like that i believe Schiffer red feather have some decks that are in that um lamination or a finish as well. The difference between a lamination and a finish, by the way, is um, a lamination is stuck on before cutting. Uh, a finish is poured on before cutting. Isn't that interesting? People very often don't know the difference. Um, I like both sometimes. If the lamination is done well, uh, it's amazing. If it isn't done well, the, 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 the lamination can get unstuck. And that's where you will see people say, hey, these carts started peeling. That's because of the, the crappy uh, lamination. So I'm really want, I really want to riffle and bridge this well because I want to see if I can get the the split gone. Hey, look, look, it's almost gone. It's still there a little bit, but we're going to pull a card anyways. Wow. Spiritual cleansing. Let's see what Marcella has written in this guidebook because I, this is my first time looking at this. I really like it. 50 cards. That's good. That's really good. It's time for spiritual cleansing of the body, mind or spaces in which you reside. There is an imbalance, stuck energy or heaviness in your environment that needs to be released before you proceed further. True. Very true. <coughs> I haven't really been feeling the greatest lately, so. The symbol is the Hamza. The Hamza is a palm-shaped amulet popular throughout the Middle East and North America. The word Hamza, also spelled Hamza and Hamesh, means five and refers to the fingers of the hand. In Jewish culture, the Hamza is called the hand of Miriam. In some Muslim cultures, the hand of Fat Fatima or Fatima. Fabulous. I love this. Uh, and um, yeah, I mean, this is, this is a stunning deck. Look at that. Why is there a white speck here? Stunning, gorgeously presented. The box, I mean, come on. The red, the blue, the minimalism, uh, I'm here for it. This is a, and once again, could have gotten this for way cheaper, but you know, I really want to keep those small stores alive. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, I think I'm sort of um, probably not going to buy a whole lot of tarot, new tarot decks anymore, because tarot is tarot. Um, Unless it's a cool Kickstarter from a friend, or unless I'm creating one for myself, uh, or there's something that comes out that, that really makes me go, whoop, need that. Uh, but, you know, this has made me realize that I do already like, that my collection is saturated 
Oracle decks. I will keep buying, though. <laughs> Love you, bitches. Bye.